The Chase Sapphire Preferred used to look just like this, but it recently got a design overhaul, and now it looks like, well, we're about to find out, and you get a front row seat to the unboxing. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, then do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Matt's Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all of your credit cards and rewards in one place. It also allows you to track your purchases across all cards and helps you identify which card to use to earn the most rewards. And if you sign up for Max Rewards Gold, it automatically activates your card-linked offers, quarterly spend categories, and a whole lot more. You can get your first month free by using the link in the description. Are you ready? I'm seeing some sensitive card information, so allow me a moment to cover that with sticky notes. Number of cards, one. Account ending in, secret. Credit access line, a fancy way of saying credit limit, $12,451. And cash access line, the amount of money that I can withdraw from ATMs, etc. at a super high interest rate and fees, which I won't be doing, of $622. Now, as I was covering up the sensitive information over here, I did not unfold the paper all the way, so even I have not yet seen the all new Sapphire Preferred design in person anywhere or even of my own card yet. So I'm going to let you see it before I do because you purchased a free ticket to a front row seat like I promised. Plus, we're going to see if this is a plastic card now or if it's still that plastic metal hybrid like the older Sapphire Preferred design, which had that metal strip kind of in between two pieces of plastic and made a decent sound. There will be drop test comparisons and weight comparisons to follow, by the way. Are you all ready? You're going to see it before I do. Three, two, one, here we go. The brand new fully redesigned Chase Sapphire Preferred card, and here it is with the activation sticker still on it. I'm now going to remove that sticker and show it to you again. I'm now going to do my final round of covering up sensitive information on the back of the card. That way I can show it to you on the front, the back, and probably the side too to see if it's still a metal card. One moment. And thanks to video editing, it was a very short moment. Here you go. This is the all new designed uh, Sapphire Preferred card from the front. It now has a much more similar design to the Sapphire Reserve, which has that kind of like, I guess, broken glass or a laser kind of etching in the right hand corner. I'll go get my Sapphire Reserve and show you in just a moment. So this kind of has a bigger version or similar pattern as the Sapphire Reserve, but all over the entire front of the card. Then here is the reverse side as well. Looks very, very similar to the Sapphire Preferred, although it has a little bit of a darker shadow right here. It's still a Visa signature card. And in case you were wondering, when I did my, uh, not product change, but when I requested this new version to be sent, um, it was still maintaining my original account number. So the last four digits, in fact, the entire 16 digits on my old card are now the same on this card as well. Just the three digit code and expiration date on the back did change. And if you noticed in the top right hand corner, it does say contains metal, do not shred. And the evidence or proof rather of that is hopefully the camera pits it up but there is still that metal core sandwiched between two strips of plastic. So is this now a metal card? The answer we can say objectively is yes. And for a side-by-side -side comparison for the old version, which is on your left versus the new, on your right, I'll rotate the cards a little bit in case the uh, light that pits up from the, uh, the front is a little bit too harsh. Hopefully it does pick up the color pretty well. Um, what do you all think? Do you like the new design or the old design better for the new Sapphire Preferred? You'll notice that the new version has the contactless symbol on the front, whereas the older design has that on the reverse. So like I mentioned, the reverse side looks pretty similar, but it's that front that looks um, very, very different. So again, hopefully the camera pits it up, but again, there are the, I'll put them together, the metal slabs 
um, between the front and the back, which are plastic. And now here is your side-by-side -side comparison with the Sapphire Reserve and the newly designed Sapphire Preferred. As you can see, that the, uh, the lines there are very, very similar, almost identical in their design, but the Sapphire Reserve just has it in the upper corner and the overall card coloring is much darker. Then we've got the reverse of both of those cards as well, side-by-side -side for you. And of course, they still are the metal cards with that slab there uh, in between the two pieces of plastic. And they also say in the top, let's see, where is it? Oh, bottom left and top right, it still says contains metal, do not shred. So of course, if you ever need a replacement card or you apply for these the first time or one card expires, whatever it may be, don't shred them if you ever cancel the card or get a replacement or whatever it happens to be. And if I can find a way to hold all three cards side by side, hopefully this turns out all right on camera, but there's the side by side comparison of all three cards going from left to right. We have the old Sapphire preferred design, the new design for the CSP in the middle, and the still current design for the Sapphire Reserve on the far right. Now, having held all three of these cards together and individually, they all seem to be the same construction, same weight, and I would assume same sound when dropped. So we're going to test that objectively with some drop tests and weight comparisons. And we shall be doing this in the order of Old Sapphire Preferred, New Sapphire Preferred, and Sapphire Reserve. Let's get to it. Round two from a higher altitude. And once more on a different surface. And finally, the weight test, right next to a really awesome You Are Great sign. All right, let's start with the Sapphire Preferred old design. 13 grams. Sapphire Preferred new design. 13 grams. And the Sapphire Reserve. 13 grams. The entire Sapphire family weighs the same. So there you have it, the results are in. Both the new and old Sapphire Preferred designs are made out of the metal slash plastic hybrid. And I think that the looks are kind of polarizing for a lot of people. Some definitely prefer the old, some definitely prefer the new. Of course, I'd love to know which design you prefer the most. Let me know down below in the comments. And overall, with the Sapphire family, which card do you like overall? The old design for the Sapphire Preferred, the new design for the CSP or the CSR? Which one looks more premium to you? Which one would you rather have designed in your wallet? Also drop your comments down below for the best looking overall Sapphire family card. And with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit or at least entertain other people, then please help me get it in front of more people by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to view some great credit card offers, to get some additional cash back when you shop online through Rakuten, and to sign up for Matt's Rewards, which is a fantastic app to manage all of your credit cards and rewards in one place. It also allows you to track your purchases across all cards and helps you identify which card to use to earn the most rewards. And if you sign up for Matt's Rewards Gold, it automatically activates your card linked offers, quarterly spend categories, and a whole lot more. You can get your first month free by using the link in the description. And I'd like to wrap up today's video by saying if any of you out there have the old Sapphire Preferred design and you'd rather have another drop test, the new Sapphire Preferred design, then all you have to do is call the number on the back of the card, which is right there. It's a customer support line. Speak with a representative and request a replacement card. Or you can also do it by going online to your Chase account. All you have to do is pull up your Sapphire Preferred card, go to the More tab, and then scroll down to Account Services, which is a drop-down menu, and you'll see an option to replace a lost or damaged card. Simply click on that, go through the prompts, and then you'll be able to have a new card issued. And of course, if you'd like to preserve your account number, all you've got to choose for the options is that your card was damaged. And then they'll issue a replacement card, maintain the same 16 digit number, and a couple things may change like the expiration date or the three digit security code on the reverse of the card. Or if you happen to lose your card or it got compromised in some way, then of course, choose the reason from the list as you go through the prompts that actually represents your situation. For example, fraud or actually lost the card, then a completely new account number will be issued. 
issued. And in either situation, all of your account history, like your on-time payment history, your credit limit, and other things like your account age will all still remain intact. So there's no need to worry about a worry-free process. I thank you all for tuning into today's video. I hope it brought you some great value, a little bit of fun and entertainment, and also answers some questions that you may have had about the newly redesigned Sapphire Preferred card. Of course, with all the new benefits as well, I will also be coming out with a new in-depth review of the CSP card so that we can learn all about the new stuff that is now added to this already great card. I will see all of you again in future videos, and while you're waiting for that next upload, remember that you are great.